Jason Momoa. How are you? I am awesome. These interviews are going amazing. Oh I'm my. First thing I noticed about On the Rome is you are in your element because like we see you in scripted things, whether it's a movie or a TV show, but like this is you unscripted. It's like, yeah, I mean, this is yeah, there's no disguising. It's my heart out there and we don't even edit out the stuff we should edit out. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, where are we taking the viewers? Tell us because you are on the back of a motorcycle. We are on the roam. Where are you taking the viewer? I'm just taking the viewer all around the world in the different places, kind of into craftsmen's homes and their workplaces. And I'm learning about other humans and their their passion for arts. And it's just my my love. I mean, my job is to study life, right, as an actor. And so my curiosity kind of takes us around the world. We make up some interesting storylines where we go and we learn more. And it just, they kind of just take on their own. They, they really, you watch a heart form within each episode. And they're pretty emotional. They're fun. And you learn a lot. And I learned a lot. And uh, it's very vulnerable and revealing. But I mean, but at the same time, it's so much fun. And we do crazy shit. And uh, it's got it's got a little bit of everything in there. And so I hope people like it because it's <laughs> this. Otherwise, the reviews are really going to suck because it's me. You're like, oh, it's actually like it's me because <laughs> you so, are direct. Yeah, the reviews are a C plus. I was a C plus student. So I'm like, whatever. So I guess I'm a C plus for life. So no, we'll I don't I don't believe it. You know, why I don't believe it is because there's so much love in this. Like there's love. The craftsmen are showing so much love in what they do that they're pouring into it. There's so much love in the conversations, the bonds. Did it get emotional at times? Because I can only imagine like when people are sharing their most their passions and their life's work. It's not something easy. It's pretty revealing for all of our artists, too, because, you know, one of my one of my dearest friends, Jeremiah, he he's built me many bikes. And so it was about the, you know, the topic was about building these 636s, but the truth of it is like, it's what he went through and like the accident and the head trauma and the addiction and the things and going, coming out of this and what should have been easy was really, really challenging just to build a motor. But what out of that, he's back. My God, my friend back out of this, you know? And so it, you know, we have this idea, but what it took on was heavy. And even it's, it's just like, I have so much passion for the roles that I play. And I feel like if people like the movies, then they should see how much passion I have. Because you think you're excited to see the movie. Well, I got a role. You know, like, I'm excited to play Duncan Idaho. I'm excited to play this. Now, this is how much love I put into it. Yeah. What, how much love I put into it. It's down to the point where I'm like making these knives with friends or new friends. And then take, you know, finishing those, the idea, then bringing them up to work. Well, they got to approve it. And then they prove it, and then we turn it into rubbers, and I do the other art form of learning how to do these fights with it. And then we do the other art form of shooting it in a beautiful way for these characters. And then it's just, you're going to see the totality of, like, of, of everything, you know, that I love for this one character. So I just try to, like, open the, pull back the curtain of just things that I love and the true, like, what, what gets me high, what gets me, like, fuel is, like, learning and all the things that I'll never be able to do. But I think that comes from being an actor where it's like, if I do a movie mm -hmm. and I don't know how to necessarily use guns or like, I don't let's use that for an instance. I had to play the character. I don't really know how to use them. And I got to learn all these men who are like SWAT and all these kind of things. So I don't look like an idiot. And like, you're learning all these professional things. And I'm like, wow, I, I don't necessarily like them in my life, but I'm going to turn into this character and they're going to teach me how to do this. Or if I learn this certain martial art, I'm going to, I'm going to meet the best person to teach me. Yeah. And I get these crash courses in like learning how to play a certain character. And so um, that's where the curiosity, I guess, comes from. Cause I'm like hungry. I'm like, what do I love in my own personal life? Not just what am I forced to do as, a, as an actor? I'm like, I would love to learn this. I would love to learn this. And then I'm going to go do it. Try to make a good of life. I love it. I was going to ask, like, are these, are some of these crafts, like for example, like the guitars that you guys are working on, do you, take it home with you? Like, is your living room full of some of these crafts that you've like come across on the road? Well, that's the kind of the cool thing of the show. So we made them and we gave them to like Slash and then we made an extra one. So they will be the only on the Rome guitar that we made plus Slash has them. So we're going to auction that off and Slash picked like what he wants to go to go to or Billy Gibbons picked what he wanted to go to and, and all these different artists. So we're actually making these things and then auctioning them off, which then will go to charity. So like, it's all just positive, 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 And like trying to make, yeah, just, just trying to get that out there. 
I mean, I have my own collection of stuff that I love, but I'm like, this was the cool thing about this is we're making these pieces and then we can be able to auction them off. And you made history. Can you elaborate a little bit on that? I mean, well, we're doing something that's never been done for sure. I mean, yeah. I feel like we made history because we took the, one of the rarest bikes in the world. No one would ever take these apart, took it apart, then made a whole fleet of them to then go race our, our buddies with. And back then they didn't even have those many next to each other. Mm -hmm. the idea of like kind of doing that is something, but then capturing my goal was to capture those bikes, my eye and my, my team's eye and like capture it in the right light. So we're getting up at four 30 in the morning, you know, just being able to have the dust and the light and like capture it like cinematically at the right time. Like that's where I put my art form in. And then we blew up every bike. So like, you're going to invest into these things, blow them up. And then my buddies will end up fixing them because they're motors. They can be fixed, but like, I don't care. Blow them up. Let's go. Like we're making, I want the world to see this. So. How lucky are you that you get to do that? You get to live your passion, you make it and you get to put it out there for the world to see. And I think a lot of us will very much enjoy it as well. I, I mean, that's uh, honestly, this is, this show means the world to me and uh, it's very scary. I'm really, I'm, I'm scared because I want to be, I mean, I, like, I just hope people like it. I'm having a fun and, and then trying to come up with, you know, things that I think are interesting, but, uh, and it's just the things that inspire me. So I hope, you know, it, it'll reach out to someone out there. That's the important thing. So. No, definitely. I know it will. You have nothing to be worried about. And Jason, thank you so much for sharing your time with us. I appreciate it. Always good to see you, friend. Thank you. It was beautiful to see you. Thank you very much.